She came alive. I just got overwhelmed with everything that had been happening. My nervous system was like shut down from all the chemicals. I was sleep deprived. I wasn't eating well. Instagram. Now I did get a lot of hate for that and I don't regret it. I'm glad I put it just got so bad. Like it was just, it was crazy. We left the hotel this morning. We went to the new house and started moving in. We're getting some snacks here at the store. We're headed to meet up with some friends. And and we wanted, um, I haven't eaten or drank anything. And so we're gonna get some drinks, get some snacks, go meet up with some friends for a play date. We're at Ada's Natural Grocers. This is one of my favorite stores here in this area. So I'm so glad that it's accessible to us and it's right on the route that we take to go to the space that we do our meetups. So, but it's like a health food store and they have this whole little restaurant, juicery, smoothie place here. So that's where we get our juices and stuff. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. So I got this beet one. She got also this juice, which I uh, the wrap is in the bag. And some kale chips and some apple juice with cucumber and grape and some smoothies. Whoa! Yeah. I went there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And then the so like the first time I had it, I was like on all fours, but I don't I don't think you're gonna have that experience. But like whatever you have. So we just got back from our little gathering and I'm trying to get the new house set up. Um, it's definitely a process, but this is my room back here. I'm sleeping on, these are the cushions for the RV um, table and chairs. And then here's my sheets and then my clothes are like that but i really don't have much to like live I, everything's back in texas so it's a little bit i don't know just kind of off right now but let's go back here and check on dahlia dahlia hi sweetheart you okay back here yeah. so we're trying to get dahlia's room set up we just put this rug in here and her little side tables and then she has her mattress on the floor, but we're getting her dresser set up. She's already got some clothes in the closet. So she's making some good progress. But I'm just coming out to my car to get some more. Cleaning out my car and getting the house settled. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. There's our little gator dude. Hey dude, I love alligators. I'm freaking obsessed. I think they're so cool. I'm gonna go hang out by the water every day. Here, baby. Let's play. Look at the backyard. I love it. Oh my gosh, I think I'm officially a Floridian now. There's an alligator in my backyard. Like, I'm so into this. Y'all have no idea. I, I really connect with alligators. I think they're so cool. I always have. And he's right there. What am I gonna name my gator friend? Can y'all even see him from the freaking camera? I don't even know if it's picking it up. Because it's just like the tip of his head. Oh my gosh, there's a gator right there, dude. It's in my backyard. If you're from Florida, you probably just think I'm stupid, but this is so cool to me. Like, I'm so freaking into it. I wonder if I'll ever get sick of this. I don't think I ever will. So we're at Home Goods and I found these little bolsters to sit on and they're really pretty and colorful. And then I got these up here. These are just pillows, but this and this one under here, I found a really nice like couch situation and it that was similar to this style and it freaking had dog pee on it. I picked it up to go buy it. It was like $4.99 and it was perfect and I picked it up to go buy it and it smelled like urine. So 
some dog either someone bought it and returned it after their dog peed on it or they brought their dog in here and it peed on it that was sad what is she doing so we were out shopping and my friend Katie called and was like hey we're going to this phase y'all come and I was like yes we're on our way so we ditched those plans and Yeah. Or we can I think just we can just do it. I think we can just do it, right? Just sign up, start for the first one. Yeah. Yeah. It's for like right here. Yeah. Yeah. It's for like right here. Yeah. 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 Ye
It's pretty big. Let's compare to Dahlia's head. Maybe that will give you an idea. Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not mean to bonk her in the head. Oh, I feel terrible. Let's show you. Um, oh, this one broke, which was so unfortunate. The guy loaded everything into my car, and then whenever I got it out at home, it had broke. But if it's just, you know, obviously you don't want to put glue on your crystals, but I will do it for that. And then what's in there? Oh, that's another one of those geodes. Okay, there was one specifically I was looking for, the fake one, so that I could show you. And... I just hit that button with my foot. That's why it went off. Oh, here's the fake one. Uh, I so. because of that, but then you turn it around and it's pretty obvious. But I didn't care. I really just thought it was a beautiful piece regardless. So, But yeah, we're going to go drop off Dahlia's flyers for dog sitting and then go stock up the pantry. Here's where I'm sleeping. And I'm totally fine with that. I'm literally considering sleeping in my closet. Like putting my bed right here. I wouldn't be able to shut the door, so I don't know. But I really would just want this space. This house is like half the size of where we're moving. And it's probably less than half the size of our Texas house. So I have to get, um, get creative with the space. There's the patio. Oh, I can't go out there. But... And then I will just sit out here and watch the gators right here. It's the best. Hi there, Nancy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am well. Is this a good time? Yeah, yeah. Going on what you want to do. So I started sharing my healing journey on Instagram about seven months ago. And um, I studied through Dr. Robert Morse's school, the International School of the Healing Arts, and I practice iridology. I had a meeting yesterday with women in this area. I just moved to Florida, so I'm like out there making connections, meeting people, and the spiritual and just health community is so vibrant here. And so I've, yeah, I've really been drawn to this area. Well, I'm really very cautious of any supplements or device or anything that's not raw living food for health. High so food, raw food, herbs, if it's not from the earth, I'm not gonna recommend it, right? So I kind of just blew it off. So I just got out of a meeting and I was just getting this space set up so I could work. Um, I have my mattress and bedding is coming this week and then my bed frame I haven't even picked out yet and that's about it. So it's probably going to look like this for a while but that's okay I'm working on a video now. So I'm trying to figure out what kind of rug I want because my bed frame is going to be a natural wood color and all my bedding is all white. So I just ordered bedding and mattresses for all of us from Avocado Mattress. It's like a non-toxic brand. And so that won't be in for a while. But should I get a patterned rug or like a jute wood toned rug? with the wood toned bed, the white bedding and all the color. I really was thinking like a beautiful patterned rug in here, like vintage looking or something with like bright oranges and bright colors, or I could even go like the blue route, like lighter than that blue over there, but I don't know. I really, I don't know. Here's all my beautiful. I just, I don't know, I scored, so I scored this salt lamp uh, light from Home goods for $29. It didn't have a tag on it, and um, the lady gave it to me for 29 bucks. So I was like, heck yeah, and it's legit. It's it's a real one. So, hey, bubs. Hey. Hi there. Made my salad it's just arugula avocado lime juice and maple syrup and it feels so good to be i was eating this like every day for weeks before like a week ago when it all got really wild so when we came to florida it was okay for the first couple weeks like we were still like all over the place but it was okay but that last week just got really crazy like i just got overwhelmed with Everything that had been happening, my nervous system was like shut down from all the chemicals and toxins. And I was sleep deprived. I wasn't eating well. 
it was just it was just a recipe for disaster and that's where that video came from on Instagram now I did get a lot of hate for that and you know but I don't regret it I'm glad I posted it um, I'm, I'm still getting messages all the time thanking me for being vulnerable and posting that and for validating their feelings and for spreading awareness and that's exactly why I'm here that's exactly what my goal is so I do not regret um, posting that even though it started a lot of crap but I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this me and Jeff are about to go run some errands together and I'm finally talking to my husband again we didn't talk for a few days um, because it got so bad like it was just it was crazy mm. Mm. So I have a friend that her son went to the doctor and they found tumors on his testicles so she wanted to do an iris reading, so she sent me his eyes, and I was just looking over there. I'm talking to Dahlia, because she's going to be taking the, the classes this year, um, the anatomy and physiology, the botanicals, like the herbology classes, and the iridology classes. So I was kind of uh, breaking this down for her on how it works, and showing her the different parts of the irises and how they relate to different areas of the body. And I was comparing my eyes before I started my detoxification at the beginning of the year. So just getting some work done here and with my babies. What you got, Dill? Uh -huh. Ooh, what kind is that? Um. You don't know. We got some mermaid fuel. That's what this is called. It's pineapple, kale, mint, Something. What is in your smoothie, Dill? It's called Cowabunga. Strawberry, blueberry, coconut milk. Coconut milk. And mermaid juice. More mermaid juice. And I have been working on eye readings all day and really having fun with that. I'm getting kind of deep into this stuff. Like, I'm really into it. This is all my stuff from school. But um, I was just watching another Morse video. But I'm being called to do more iridology stuff. Right, I want to make in. videos. How is it? About. Wanna dance, wanna sing, no. wanna feel my heart beat. So we just ran into Publix to find some food, and I'm so sick of buying food from grocery stores. It's all sick crap. It's uh, freaking hard. Okay, so like example. Let's let's just show an example. Here we go green at the top which means it's not ripe brown which means it is so what's the issue here let's look at this these avocados right they're already like starting to blacken here but they're rock hard they will never be good this food is trash garbage crap thank you he just brought me this uh watermelon so he said it was big and 30 pounds he's like are you sure you want it i'm like well yeah what do you mean but yeah, so I am going to start looking into farms, markets. I've already been looking, and I just can't wait till I don't have to buy radiated crap from a grocery store anymore because this stuff is just trash. It's trash. It's crap. Like, when you get a food that is rotting but rock hard, like an avocado, banana, like, things that, like, it's never going to be good. You know? Everybody is so sick. Nobody knows why. You can't even get good food to like heal your body because everything is garbage with pesticides that's been radiated. So what are we going to do, y'all? Like, what are we going to do? Are y'all going to help me? Can y'all help me like spread this message, spread awareness, start talking about this stuff? Because nothing's going to change unless we start getting louder. Like, this is crazy. But um, anyways, okay, I'm done.